The Miami Dolphins coming off a comeback victory against the Cardinals, where Tua Tagovailoa scored a rushing touchdown with just seconds remaining. They are 2-0. They're going to be taking on the 0-2 Kansas City Chiefs, led by Tyrod Taylor. Here at Hard Rock Stadium, let's go first down as Taylor would be brought down by the Beast. The former number two overall pick in his second year out of Houston, Ed Oliver, showing off the jizzle. Chiefs would kick a field goal. It's 3 nothing. As the Dolphins have a tag of Ilola, finds the third-year man out of Penn State, Mike Gusecki. Woo! Showing off the juke and Gusecki, bringing it into the red zone, tackled at around the 14-yard line. Now second and goal at the three as tag of Ilola. A little bit of a flashback from last week, breaking the tackle into a tag of Ilola, finding the end zone for a Miami Dolphin touchdown, placing the ball down, and it's now 7-2-3. Kansas City is for football here is on third down and 17. Bad coverage by Quan Alexander and Kareem Hunt is more wide open than a Burger King drive through at 4 o'clock in the morning. And Kareem Hunt, hunting for the first down, he brings it to around the 15-ish. Now third down and two would be a hand, fake handoff. Tyrod Taylor pushed, and Tyrod Taylor would be intercepted by Marlon Humphrey. Humphrey had two interceptions a week ago and one in week one. So this is his fourth interception already on the young season. Dolphins have a football third down and 16. Dagovailoa scrambling like he's late on a date, heaving up a nuke. And you might as well call him Kim John yoon as he finds Devontae Parker, the Louisville product. Third down and four. Tagovailoa looking at pass that he finds Anthony Johnson, the former third rounder out of Buffalo. And Johnson showing off the dance moves. Touchdown Miami. It's now 14-3 to as Tagovailoa would be sacked by the former Buckeye Rayquan McMillan avoiding his coverage play, but I guess it worked for the Dolphins. Now it's third down and three as A.J. Dillon, Beast Mode Jr., look at him go! The rookie out of Boston College. He jukes a defender and he broke a couple tackles and then he's eventually going to be caught by the cornerback Chase Lucas, but not before getting tackled at the 21, then third and goal, tackle by Lola, he's under pressure, nice sack right there for the Chiefs, and to make it worse for the Dolphins, Ricky Aguayo, the rookie kicker, missed the field goal, just like his brother would, now it's still 14-3, to late in the second quarter, Quan Alexander with the interception flag on the play, it would be on the Dolphins, but it was after the interception, so they do get to keep the football first down. Tago Vilola looking deep for A.J. Dillon. Oh, my word. What a grab. One-handed to the one-yard line. A.J. Dillon with the Odell Beckham-like catch. And then Dillon breaking a tackle, finding the end zone. Out here looking like Marshawn Lynch is Dillon with a phenomenal end of the first half. 21-3. to One second left. Chiefs going to... Likely heave up a Hail Mary, and their prayer wouldn't be answered as Jabril Peppers would get the INT. That was Tyrod Taylor's third interception of the first half. Let's go third quarter. Can the Chiefs finally get a touchdown as Quinton Weatherspoon in the game, former Westlake Hornet. Tyrod Taylor would find Jace. We'll see you tomorrow. Touchdown, Jace Amaro, the former New York Jet and Texas Tech Red Raider. Now it's 21 to 10. Can the Chiefs make a comeback? As Tago Vilola, he's gonna move like Jagger, and he would find the veteran Emmanuel Sanders, who had a quiet game last week against Arizona after a big week one against the Cleveland Browns. Now it's 24 to 10 after a Ricky Aguayo field goal as Kareem Hunt wide open. There goes Hunt. Hunting for the first down, but he would lose the juice. That is Jabril Peppers with the fumble force. Quan Alexander with the fumble recovery. Now third and 13 is Tagovailoa would be sacked by Trey Hendrickson. He clearly looked like he was sacked in the end zone, but the side marker will say he wasn't, so the Chiefs won't get the two points from the safety. First down, Tyrod Taylor avoiding the sack, and Taylor would have run it all the way to the one-yard line. Very nice run there. Chiefs couldn't get it in on first, second, third down, but they could on fourth down as Kansas City punches it in. Tyrod Taylor would find his man, and it's just a one-possession game under four minutes to go. Can the Dolphins keep this lead as Tagovailoa scrambling like eggs on a frying pan? He finds Mike Gusecki breaking tackles, getting past midfield. Now third down and eight. Past the two-minute warning as Tagovailoa looking deep for a wide-open man. Mike Gusecki, nobody was near him, just like a smelly kid waiting to get out of the bathtub. Touchdown 
for the Miami Dolphins. Now 31-17, fourth down and two. Tyrod Taylor, he would find his man Sammy Watkins keeping the game alive. First down, Tyrod Taylor would be sacked as Charles Harris going downstairs where Daddy hides for vodka. And then to close it off, Tyrod Taylor shrugs the sack. But who else but Marlon Humphrey with the interception? Second of the game, that is Marlon Humphrey's fifth interception on the season. Dolphins improved to 3-0 for the second straight season. They win 31-17.